What's going on guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Hot Warriors where today we're starting off the episode with a bang an X Factor choice pack. Now majority of the comment section agreed that we should look at taking a goalie if we get one in the X Factor choice pack. I think it would add a huge dynamic to the series. You know you gotta push for that shutout, push for those saves, get those wins and upgrade the goalie. I think it would be a lot of fun to add that to the, to the series. So if we get a goalie in the choice pack we're definitely gonna take him. Other than that because there's only a few goalies you might not even get one um, what are we looking for here? And I'm thinking that we possibly go with a defenseman and get rid of Susie. Or we go with a center and get rid of Yanni Gord. And uh, we can go down. Like our, our center death will just be insane. Um, so we could have Eichel, Couturier, Barbashev, and then X player. Um, but really, I mean, if we get someone like McDavid, like obviously I'm taking McDavid and he's not going to play center. If I get someone like Ovi, obviously he's going to play on the wing. You know what I mean? So there's uh, there's a lot of uh, big things that can happen. We'll go ahead and open it up, make the decision. Um, I'm making the decision here today. If we get a goalie, we'll take the goalie. But if there's no goalie in the pack, then I'm going to make the decision on who we uh, on who we move on. And uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun here today. We could add someone really big to the team. All right, and here we go. X Factor Player Choice Pack. We get uh, choice of one of five. I'm hoping for like McDavid. Obviously, McKinnon would be sick. Um, but really, we should get someone to the team that will help, no matter what here. Um, Defenseman-wise, Kale McCarr is the real one that I want. Other than that, not uh, super interested, but we'll see, man. I mean, you never know what we're going to get in here. Uh, let's start it off at the very back here. Card number one is going to be... Oh, it's Leon Dreisaitl. I thought it was McDavid. I leg oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Leon Dreisaitl, 77 could be a really good addition um, if we end up using him for sure. So, Leon Dreisaitl. Let's go with... That uh, will go with the first one. Alex Petrangelo. That's an interesting one as well, actually. Um, after a few upgrades, he'll be really solid to put with Hedman. That could be interesting. Next up. Oh, Sidney Crosby. Okay, well. Well. This is my first time pulling Crosby in an X-Factor pack. I might have to take Crosby. Already has 82 speed in Excel. After a couple upgrades, he becomes very, very good, very usable. I might have to go with Crosby. Uh, we have Brad Marchand, who just got a Team of the Year card, but will not be taking the rat. And last but not least, God, McDavid. come on. I mean, what a pack it would be to have Dry Settle, Crosby, and McDavid, though. Yeah, we got Braden Point. I think the smartest idea here would be to take Crosby, uh, maybe shuffle the lines a little bit, get Crosby some more playing time than uh, Yanni Gord would be getting, and then see if I can upgrade the Crosby so that way we have a sick center depth. I do think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take Sidney Crosby. I I love Crosby's build every single year. One of my favorite cards every year. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take Crosby, add him to the squad. And I think that is the end of Yanni Gord. Oddly enough, I'm actually going to keep Yanni Gord. I'm going to get rid of Johnny Busick. The reason I'm going to get rid of Busick is because when he's slower. And two, I can keep heart and soul on, which I might as well keep heart and soul on. It's not hurting anybody, right? So actually, can I give Eichel heart and soul? Yeah, I can. It's perfect. That's going to help his center or his center, his uh, face offs a little bit there, too. So perfect. We have that. And then we have Crosby to add in. I do think Johnny Busek the one to go. He's just not doing anything for us. I, I don't care. Um, Crosby. Now, what do I want to do here? Because we have Barbashev, too. Do I want to move our second line to our third line? I, oh, this is going to be interesting. I, I have a decision to make. All right. So I may have come up with a solution. I'm actually going to put... Mika Zabinajad on the third line and move Eichel to the wing. Uh, Eichel's face-offs just aren't great, even with Heart and Soul on. Uh, Crosby's actually at the same. That, that's funny to me, um, even though we're 77 overall. So uh, what if we were to do this? We do Crosby, Eichel, Laugh. Keep the second line the way it is. I don't want to touch this because this has just been a fun line to use with uh, Coots here. We have JVR, who has over a point per game, and then Travis Konechny. And then we could go Zabinijad, Barbashev, Faraby for like a little sneak attack on the third line. We have Barbashev and Zabinijad. Um, and that will be our PK as well, I think. Zabinijad and Barbashev. Um, so that's really going to help out there. And then fourth line with Stamkos, Kessel, and Gord. Uh, Stamkos, I really just haven't liked using. Um, I feel like he's had his chances and hasn't done anything with them. So um, I think that we're going to go with this for now. See how it goes for a couple games. And then you guys can let me know if you think we should change it up. All right, that is done. Let's go ahead and get into our first Rivals game of the day. All right, as we search for a game... Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we have to upgrade somebody? I think we have to upgrade somebody. Hold on. One week later. Sorry about that, Jack. My bad, man. I forgot all about your upgrade. How could I do that? So there we go. Jack Eichel gets his upgrade up to an 87 now. 
What's that unlocked for him? Anything good? Uh, fly the zone, but we don't have any uh, anything even close for synergy. So uh, nothing unlocked for him there. But you know what? 87 Eichel looks a little bit better than 86 Eichel. Now let's go ahead and get into our game. And guys, as we match into our game here, we got Burger Country 09, got Marshan Point and Matthews, pretty solid squad. Eichel is in need of five points to get an upgrade. Zubinichad needs two, Coots needs two, Headman needs four, and Crosby, the newest addition, of course, needs five. So let's go ahead and get into this. He's got McDavid on the first line here. I see Point and Marshan. So definitely a good team. Probably better than ours. There's that Pro Cop. He's got Duncan Keith. Interesting. Now Crosby in his debut. Let's see how he does, man. I'd like to get him some points early. Get him close to an upgrade early. Eichel couldn't get that past the Lafreniere. That's a shame. That was a easy tap in if he could pick it up. But Eichel just so good, man. I really like this Eichel card. And he has wheels, of course. That helps. And here comes Eichel. Looking for Laugh. Gets it through, but Laugh couldn't bury it. There's Crosby picking it up. Gets it over the Ekblad. Ekblad back down the Crosby. He shoots. That's blocked. Lafreniere gets it. That's easy save for Flurry. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, there's some decent chances here, but... Nothing really threatening, you know. We gotta we gotta get a good shot in on the goalie, make him worry early that we're gonna play really well. Aaron Ekblad in shoots that save by Fleur. That's a good save. There you go. That's uh something that we needed. This guy has been on the ropes very early. We're less than five minutes in. We already have four or five shots on goal. He hasn't entered our zone, and we got a really good opportunity there with Ekblad. Now we need to score. Captain Susie knocks that puck away from Austin Matthews. Good stuff. Connect me the other way. Oh, he moves in. Loses it there to uh, Cam Fowler and uh, Nathan McKinnon. But, I mean, the guy's team is good. There's that uh, Biz Nasty. Yeah, that's got a solid squad. We're going to have to play smart here. I don't know. I, I kind of regret that first line uh, being broken up. I really liked our first line. But when you have someone like Crosby, you have to give him more minutes to get him those upgrades, you know? So Roman Yossi picks that up. Gets over to Zabinajad here on the third line. Zabinajad flies in. Shoots. Saved by Flurry. Faraby on the rebound, almost went for the dunk. But guys, honestly, with our team, I might have to start going for more dunks. Got it. Shoots. Oh, my God. I don't know if that was blocked or saved. Regardless, doesn't go to the back of the net. Now, Faraby to Zabinijad. We're all over him here. Zabinijad to Faraby. Barbashev couldn't get the one-timer off. Oh, my goodness. We are, we're buzzing here. He has not entered our zone a single time. And now he does and immediately loses it to Barbashev. Two minutes left here in the first. Not a lot happening on either side. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've had our chances, but we can't score. And I don't think he has a shot on goal yet. So wide open pass for Konechny, but Flurry makes the save. Is that an X-Factor Flurry? Does he have X-Factor Flurry? He's playing really well. Konechny in, blocked. Oh my goodness. 10 seconds to go here in the first period. And it doesn't look like we're going to get on the board here in the first. Great opportunities all over this guy, but just couldn't find the back of the net. Flurry playing very well. And that is going to do it for the first. Damn, man. That's a tough first period. I don't know how we didn't score any goals there. Um, I will say, great job by the boys to uh, dominate that period, especially against a team that is much better than ours. However, damn, man. Like, look, here, these are your stats. 9-2 to two are the shots. Time of attack, 4 minutes to 1. Not even 1. Um, yeah, we got to we gotta score some goals here. What's going on? Oh my god, Lafreniere couldn't finish off that play. What a beautiful move. Set of moves, really. But couldn't find the back of the net. And again, there's Eichel. He couldn't... He gets poked. I I don't know what to do here. He can't score. Doing anything we can, and we can't find the back of the net. Like, we have so many chances, so many shots. Lafreniere with a nice little backhand there. Doesn't get through. I don't know what to do, man. I cannot score on this flurry, no matter what I do. Oh my god, even JVR is getting robbed. That didn't work out. JVR shoots. Oh, he gets tripped up. Okay, so not a uh, shot on goal there for JVR. However, we do have a power play here, and he is on the ice. JVR is going to open up the scoring for us. He's the only one I can think of that can actually do it here because this ain't working. And here he comes. The JVR scores here. I'm making him the new captain. Simple. Oh, my. He just got poked at the last second, too. He had it there. And another trip. It's going to be five on three. Oh, boy. We better score here. And here he comes. He's in on the backhand. And there it is. James Van Riemsdyk makes it 1-0. He will be named captain after this game. Because he just... I mean, look at Susie. Susie gets the assist because he's the new assistant captain. I, I just... I can't, man. JVR is just too good. He does too much for the team. JVR will be captain. And he's still out there on the ice on the power play. 
When your team can't get it done, you call on the captain. Now, Susie set that play up, sure. But JVR just does so much for the team. I can't imagine where we'd be without James Van Riemsdyk. It's ridiculous. And here he comes again, and he shoots. Big save by Flurry. But JVR is just all over the ice throughout the entire game. Does so much for us. I just, yeah, he's got to be captain. Maybe we look for an upgrade for him, too. There he is. Another great opportunity for him. I'm looking at maybe getting a prime time or a team of the week or something. I know he has a couple cards out, so I think it'd be super interesting. Maybe like the captain deserves like an upgrade. There's another goal for JVR. And that might be the rage quit too. 17 to 2 were the shots. I mean, it's been all us this game, and that is the rage quit. Um, I'm sorry. That that we deserve the win there. JVR gonna be captain, getting his second goal of the game. Um Yeah, I mean, I, I just like using JVR. What what else can I say? As for our opponent, he had 86 Naslund, 87 Richards, 86 Keith, 86 Bijanet, 86 Marshan. Looks like he has a bunch of just 86s, and he has a decent team, don't get me wrong, but we were able to handle him fairly easily. He has that base McDavid, uh, Matty B, he's got Matthews. Not a bad team, obviously. A little too many X-Factors and power-up cards, because um, you can't keep up with all of them at once, but not a bad squad. It was X-Factor Flurry as well, which is really interesting, but... Couldn't get it done for him, even though we played very well. And we take the victory 2-0. Let's open up our gold reroll pack. I want to point out, sorry, uh, Coots did get an assist in that game. He's the only X-Factor to get an assist. He's one point away from an upgrade. We also have enough points to uh, register for champs now, which I find super fun. So maybe we'll do that this weekend and just stream over on Twitch the Hut Warriors champs run. Uh, hopefully get one or two wins, because I don't know. Uh, premium two gold player pack guaranteed 180 or better. We got that rage quit. We get this pack. What do you have for us, EA? Not expecting anything. We've had crazy pack luck. Today, it's going to be Oliver Wallstrom and uh, Christian Vestalainen. I'm not going to add them to the team. I didn't expect anything in there. Let's just hurry up, move on to game number two, and see how we do. Finally finding a game here. We got Ace. 90 to Zena, 91 Matthews, 88 Makar. All right, it's been, I've been waiting for a game for forever, it feels like. But finally getting into a game here. Um, let's have some fun, see how we do. I... Uh, I think he's got a pretty good team. Yeah, there's a uh, dry side out there, it looks like. He's got a solid squad for sure, so let's have some fun. Crosby with that steal to Eichel, saved by UC Saros. Good opportunity early, though. Need to get Crosby some points early in this, and I I, don't, I mean, obviously, I don't want five points in the game, but I don't think that's going to happen, but um, we need to get Crosby upgraded if he's going to be our number one C. Lafreniere to Crosby on the backhand. He scores! There we go. Sidney Crosby gets his first career goal here as a Warrior. Um, let's go ahead and write that down. Hedman gets an assist. That's huge. And uh, we are on the board early. Newly named captain JVR takes to the ice for the very first time since being named captain. Let's see uh, how he does in his first shift. Gets it over the Konechny. He gets it back to JVR, and he is sprinting. JVR, the newly named captain. Gets bumped. Loses it. Gets it to Couturier. Down low to Konechny. Now I'm expecting JVR to start producing now that he's captain. I mean, he's been really good for us, but now he's got to take it to that next level. And there is that next level, James Henry <laughs> Oh my God. JVR is ridiculous. I don't think anything else happened on that, right? Oh, Couturier did get an assist. And guess what? That's an upgrade for Couturier. So that was a huge goal. And JVR is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's go get our pack. You get to upgrade Couturier, and this is a huge upgrade for him. A plus three and a plus two for doing skating. This is awesome. Couturier up to a 79. That is a huge, huge change. Uh, do we have any of these? Oh, we do have Protector. There we go. So Protector gets added on for Couturier. Um, everyone else who gets it is going to be Hedman, Zabinijad, and Lafreniere. So that helps. Let's go ahead and open up two packs that we get here. We get our uh, 80 regular gold reroll. Not expecting anything. Then we get a guaranteed 82, which could really help us out. We got Zach Sanford. What's up, buddy? Joey Hicketts. Good to see you, man. Former Wings prospect. Here we go. 82 guaranteed player pack. At least one is 82 or better. Make it a 94. Come on. Will Borgen. What's up, man? Honestly, I can't complain. Our pack luck lately has been absolutely ridiculous. So if we get nothing, we get nothing. I honestly can't complain anymore. Um, Lance Buma. Uh, we get Bob Ganey. Bob Ganey. A left winger, unfortunately. Probably not going to add him to the team. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Hut Warriors. We got our two games in. We got our X-Factor choice pack. We upgraded the team with Crosby. Kachuria got an upgrade. We moved the lines around. 
I think it was a pretty successful ep episode. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we ran into uh, a desync issue. Thanks, EA. Love it. And we ended up getting the loss for it and losing a bunch of rivals points. But whatever, it is what it is. Shit happens, right? So, um, this is what the team is looking like. We need that headman to keep getting assists. We need three more points for headman. One more, one more upgrade, and he goes up by two, and that's a huge, huge change. So we need that to happen ASAP. But the team is looking pretty good. We'll have another episode to you guys in a few days, so hopefully you're excited for it. I know I am. I love playing the series. It's a lot of fun, and upgrading the team is uh, it's starting to look pretty good, too. We got 91, 85, 87, 86, 88 down here. Like, we're doing all right. The team's getting there. So um, I'm excited to see what the, uh, what the next episode brings. But I appreciate you guys checking out this episode. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. I'll be uh, hanging out watching the Wings game. So uh, if you guys want to hop in the Discord, there's a link in the description. I'll be in there just hanging out watching the Wings game. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.